There's a live picture for you at Kennedy Space Center from Florida. We show holding on the countdown clock of five minutes. Let's check in with our CNN correspondent, Tony Clark. Tony? Right now, the uh, astronauts are in the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Everything right now is go. You can see the countdown clock, four minutes and uh, 53 seconds. There was a, a little bit of uh, confusion, a uh, possible problem just a, a moment ago, but one of the uh, flight controllers said that they simply had a, a problem. They were a little bit late with, with one of the switch throws that they had to, uh, had to make, but they uh, have given the astronauts a go. In fact, just a short time ago, Launch Director Bob Seek told uh, Lauren uh, uh, Shriver, the uh, commander of the, uh, the shuttle, said on behalf of the team, we wish you a good one. You have a go for launch. This has really been one of the most flawless countdowns, flawless uh, launch procedures that we've seen in a long time. The, the weather forecasters have said the uh, weather conditions at the Cape were nearly perfect for a launch. As you can see there, uh, the weather is, is good. In fact, they said the, uh, the forecast was 100% for a go for today's launch. This will be a seven-day mission for Atlantis and its crew of seven. It's an international crew. The, uh, the crew is made up of both rookies and veterans. As I say, Lawrence Shriver is the commander of this. This will be his third space flight. You might remember Shriver, he was also the uh, commander when the shuttle astronauts deployed the Hubble telescope. He was commander then. His first mission was a Department of Defense mission. Uh, also uh, on this mission, uh, Marsha Ivan. Marsha has a, a hobby of photography and she will really get a chance to to pursue that hobby this time. She is in charge of the IMAX, the large format photography. The astronauts are putting together, uh, shooting video, shooting film rather, for presentation uh, film that the Smithsonian wants. You might be familiar, many of our viewers I think are familiar with the movies The Blue Planet, uh, and this is a similar type thing of the, uh, the shuttle flight. They should have some spectacular pictures to get because during the seven-day mission, they will release a European Space Agency orbiting laboratory. There are 15 experiments on board that. It will stay in orbit for six to nine months with the variety of experiments uh, undergoing a variety of processes in uh, microgravity. And uh, then it will be picked up six to nine months from now by another shuttle. Then on Monday, the astronauts will begin reeling out a half ton uh, satellite on the end of a tether. This is the first time that uh, the shuttle astronauts have done that. They will be tethered a uh, 12 and a half mile long tether to a satellite as part of a tether experiment. There you can see the vent hood being lifted off the uh, external tank. It has a half million gallons of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to propel the, uh, the shuttle uh, into orbit. You might notice that the number that you'll see in the corner of the, the screen there, NASA has a variety of cameras around the, uh, the Cape, and that identifies the camera. It gives them a, an idea of which camera, which angle that they are seeing. There, a, a shot as the arm moves away. We're less than two minutes now from the launch of Atlantis. This will be the last flight of Atlantis for some time. After this mission, it will be brought in to be serviced, to be updated as, uh, as the rest of the, uh, the shuttles are. 136, 135. Let's listen in for just a minute as we count down to the launch of Atlantis. Space shuttle has now been disconnected from all ground propellant systems. About 90 seconds away from launch now. Less than a minute away from the ground launch sequencer handing off to the onboard computers of the space shuttle Atlantis after we verify that the space shuttle main engines are ready to start. Liquid hydrogen tank now at flight pressure. T-minus one minute, ground launch sequencer is verifying main engines are ready for ignition. The heaters around the joints of the solid rocket boosters are being turned off. T-minus 45. Residual hydrogen burn igniters have been armed. They'll be fired at T-minus 10 seconds to burn off any residual hydrogen gas under the main engines. Flight data recorders for the solid rocket boosters now recording. 33, 32, 31, and we have the handoff. Computers on board Atlantis now controlling the countdown. Ground launch sequencer monitoring pad systems. 20 seconds. Orbiter body flap and speed brake are in the launch position. 
Down suppression water system has started. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Main engine ignition. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, and liftoff of the space shuttle Atlantis on a mission for new utility in space. Houston's now controlling. Atlantis is rolling on course. Roll program. Roger roll, Atlantis. Full maneuvers complete, placing Atlantis and crew on the proper heading. Engines in full throttle. Engines are throttling back now, helping to ease uh, Atlantis through the dense lower altitudes as it continues to accelerate very rapidly. Engine throttle now at 82%. Atlantis is already traveling over 650 miles per hour. All systems are performing well. Atlantis check hot mic. Engines are throttling back further now to 67%. And all three main engines are throttling back up. One minute, 10 seconds. Atlantis, go and throttle up. Go and throttle up. All engines are now running at full throttle and all systems are performing well. Altitude now 63,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling over 1,000 miles per hour. Over the ne next 60 seconds, as Atlantis continues to climb at a relatively steep angle, the vehicle's rate of acceleration will virtually triple. Solid rocket boosters, each providing up to about three and a third million pounds of thrust, will burn out and separate at about two minutes, four seconds. Time now, one minute, 47 seconds. Altitude, 107,000 feet. All systems performing well. Booster chamber pressure is tailing off. With a clean separation, Atlantis is now flying free of the solids and under the power of its own main engines. Second stage guidance is now controlling the vehicle, altitude 173,000 feet. Downrange distance now 37 nautical miles. Atlantis is now traveling over 2,800 miles an hour. Happy nominal performance. Early performance of the main engines and boosters was good. to engine Ben Guerrier. An obvious, uh, exciting, uh, well done uh, launch of the shuttle Atlantis. It was one of the, the most uh, easy launches, one of the most flawless uh, countdowns and launches that we've seen in a long time. The beginning of a seven day mission for the seven member crew. And of course, CNN will keep you updated as this mission continues.